Okay, recording. Ooh. Good morning, everyone. I hope you can hear me. I'm just gonna wait uh, maybe another minute or two just to make sure, just to make sure everybody is, whoever is coming, will be here. So for today's class, I would like to do some great gentle opening, some hips, some back, some twists. Just Oh my goodness. Hey, Danielle. Yay. <laughs> um, I can't do yoga and I'm leaving in a few minutes. I have an appointment. I've torn my hip. Oh no. Yeah, I'm, I'm, they can't even do a replacement because the bone's too bad or whatever. Anyway, um, I just wanted to say, hey. <laughs> and Hi. I'm doing a, um, uh, one of these Zoom classes, and I wanted to see how they work and if I need a microphone. Do you have a microphone? I don't. I have a microphone. Um, uh, hold on. Let me pause the. Okay. Sorry, I had someone who was just trying it out, and um, 
she couldn't stay today, but um, I was helping her with some technical stuff. So, good morning. I am Danielle Singita. I'm happy to be here with you today, um, this uh, March 9th. And um, I'd like you to find a nice, comfortable seat. I am sitting on a bolster. I like to sit on the bolster because it just takes some of the pressure off of my back and it allows my hips to settle in nicely. If this doesn't feel good for you, you can sit in the chair. We are going to do some kneeling type work today. Um, if you can do the kneeling, but you might want to put an extra soft or a blanket on your knees for some extra cushion, you can put it down on the mat and you can also put it behind your knees if your range of motion is a little tight. Um, so I'll try to show you those while we're, while we're doing our class, but it's nice to even have a blanket that you can't, let me grab a blanket. <laughs> have the blanket or even a bolster. Like, so when we're doing some of these things, you can have the bolster down so that you're able to sit on it and then come up and then sit back down on it and then come forward. If the bolster is too high, then you can use a blanket. So I wanna show you, I'll show you this kind of stuff first. And then that way, when we get to do in the class, you kind of have your prop set up so you can have a blanket and you can fold it according to what you need and do the same. You can put it on the floor or if you just need a little bit extra, you can have it like that. So then that does take some of the pressure off of the knees there. And that feels really good too. So lots of different options. Um, but we will definitely be doing some of that work today. It's very grounding. I just lost my notes. Very grounding and nice and good to open up the quads a bit. So with that, let's come back to our nicely seated pose. Again, this is Sukhasana and Sukhasana Sukha is ease. So I love that word sukha and finding not only the ease in your pose, but the ease in your day. And this morning, um, usually I will meditate in the mornings. I wake up and meditate and I do all my daily self care. And this morning, um, I decided I was going to take a walk before the sunrise. So I think it was like, it was getting lighter. It was like 6.30. I don't know if I could get up that much earlier, but um, it was beautiful to be able to walk and hear the birds and it was cold. So, you know, bundled up and felt the coolness on the face, which was a beautiful way to kind of naturally wake up. It's also the sacred time of the morning where um, uh, you're able to kind of get this, this beautiful inner light. The inner light kind of is matching the outer light. So the darkness that happens at nighttime, it's like the darkness is meeting the lightness and very much that same can happen in your subtle energy where kind of that darkness from the night is now bringing in the light. So it's very symbolic, very sacred. And um, it was so nice and easy. And I think the more easy or the easier we can get in our living, and, and in our day, the less stress that we can experience. We can come from a place of ease as opposed to a place of force or 
will or determination like to to an nth degree um it just like you can almost feel like that tension and that tightness just falling off of you just subsiding releasing letting go so um i encourage if you don't normally um do something like that maybe to get up uh, I think when it hits the mountains, it was like 645, almost seven. I'm in the valley in Swannanoa, so it might be different. But like just the joy, the joy of the quiet, the joy of hearing the birds like waking up, the joy of seeing like the squirrels moving, seeing the light changing. Um, it was really magical. And... Um, so I encourage you, if you don't do that, maybe pick a day or two and make that part of your like sacred time. And the more still that we can become in our mind, uh, the more that we can expand and absorb, the more we can absorb uh, what we want, the more we can feel expansive and not restrictive. So anyway i could talk about that all day <laughs> so anyway while we were talking i was really also trying to stretch out our hips a little bit and so why don't we go ahead and just shake it out for a moment i'm gonna shake it out and the motto for this for today is i go for the joy life is here for me to enjoy today I do the mental work for positive change. So today was definitely like a very like symbolic day and with spring coming, like how we can become lighter and more positive as things come back to life. So I'm just shaking it out. And then what I'd like to do is come back and Let's work with, now I'm not going to probably have the, I'll have the bolster to show you. You can have the bolster. And we're going to work with our breath and movement at the same time. So scooch a little bit off the bolster. And then I want you to have your hands, you can kind of have your hands here. We're going to be sliding down. So we're going to be inhaling, and as you inhale, I want the chest to rise, lift the chest up, lift the head up, the chin, if that feels okay, listen to your body, exhale, fold forward, kind of kiss the ground if you can with your forehead, and then I want you to round your spine as you come back up, lift up, look up, and exhale. Inhale, round the spine as you come up. Expand and open. This time, bring your hands here at the little creases of the hips. Let the knees come out slightly and then fold forward. Inhale, come all the way back up. Exhale. Good. Inhale, round the spine. If this feels okay for you, I want you to come on up. Take a moment. Inhale, lift all the way up. And then hands to prayer. Lift all the way up. Hands to prayer. Inhale, lift all the way up. Hands to prayer. Inhale, all the way 
inhale, bring your hands up to the top. You can curl your toes here. You can also do this while you're in the chair. And then we're gonna bring our left hand forward and our right hand behind us and create a twist. Inhale, come all the way up and twist to the other side. Inhale. So you're inhaling, the palms are coming up, back to center, exhale, palms down. Inhale, palms up, exhale, palms down. Inhale, come back to seated position. This is gonna be working the core a little bit more. So you can do this one of two ways. If you're in the chair, just allow the knees to part a little bit more. If you have a strong core, I'm gonna encourage you to kind of come down and lift as you come down. If your core is not as strong, maybe bring the head down first and then lift the arms up overhead. Exhale, release. Come all the way up. Use your arms to help you lift up. Bring your knees back nice and grounded. Lift the buttocks up. Bring the arms up overhead. And hands into prayer. Inhale. Hands into prayer. Inhale. And hands into prayer. One more time. I want you to come up here. So we're going to do that sequence again. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, palms down. Let's hold it here for a moment and see if you can even twist just a little bit more. Bring your hands back down. Now this time, you're gonna just scoot the bolster or blanket over a bit. And then let's take that right leg back and open up behind the knees. Open the calves. Bring that opposite, that leg opposite. And look over towards the heel. Left leg over. Good. And then come back. Press the heel down. Other side. Left heel down, really open up that calf. It should feel really nice. Over to the opposite side. Come back and go ahead now. And let's curl our toes and press up to downward facing dog. Come on down. Back into child's pose. And again, when you're in child's pose, you can place your hand down, your head down, and then allow now the arms to come up and roll a little bit more on the crown of the head. Release. The hood comes off. <laughs> and then take a moment. Reset your position. Bring your legs straight out. Have a blanket. If you want a blanket, I'm going to grab a blanket. 
I'm gonna put it under my glutes, my biscuits, and then let them be nice and long. We're gonna bring our left leg over. So whichever way you do it is fine. Just do the opposite. Allow that foot to press down into the earth a little bit if it can. And even that right there is a really, really nice stretch. We're gonna take our right hand, bring the left arm up, and then allow that left arm to come behind you and just create a nice little twist. Come on back. And then you're gonna take your foot. Now, if you are sitting in a chair, you can do pretty much the same. Um, this time we are gonna grab our foot. So depending on your flexibility, maybe you just kind of grab it a little bit and draw it in. Then you're gonna rock back and forth. If you're a little bit more flexible, you can almost create like a little cradle and then back and forth. Or maybe you have it down here and then you're just kind of moving it back and forth. So lots of options. Opening up the hips. When you're doing that, really allow that spine to try to be long and strong. If you're rounding, then back off a little bit so that you can keep a nice, strong spine. Good. Release, place back down in that same position, and then a nice little twist again. So that left arm comes up, around, and then twist. I can hear spring. The birds are happy. Now we're gonna bring the inside of the foot into the, the, the inner thigh. Allow the hands to come on either side and then just fold gently. And with ease. So don't worry about feeling like you gotta put your head down there or you're not a good yogi or yogini unless you can put your head on. I can, I've been doing yoga forever. And it's really more about, to me, just the ease. And you can see when I'm doing this, I kind of use my breath. I'm gonna inhale, lift up a little, exhale, hold. Inhale, up a little, exhale, full. So it's more gentle, it's more rhythmic. It's more like, hey, it's like an ocean wave. And hold this pose. So allowing now, that'll open up the lower back. Good, slowly come back up. And then just shake it out for a moment. Come back a little bit so you can see my feet. And move your hips from side to side. And then bring your feet together, if you can, and bound angle for a moment. Grasp onto your ankles and then just open again, like side to side. And sway the head, just sway the body. 
We even add some little circles in it. Or maybe you bring it up to your knees. Good. Bring your legs back to where they were. And now we're gonna do the opposite side. I think this is the opposite side. I have my right leg over to my left. So whatever side you did, just do the opposite. Grab onto the outside of your knee, bring your arm up overhead and allow that to drop behind you and then create a twist. Relax the neck, there's not a lot of tension. Slowly come back. Take your foot. Now remember you can do lots of options here. You can place it above the knee and just kind of rock a little bit here and there. You can take it a little bit more if you want. See if you can lift it up. Keep that other foot active and you can rock it here. Again, making sure that spine is really long and strong. If it starts to collapse, then you're probably overdoing it because you're trying to like force it so let's practice that ease. Where can you place your foot comfortably where it's not compromising your structure? Rock a little bit back and forth if that feels okay. Bring it back down. Let's bring that hand over. Bring that arm up again and behind you, create a nice little twist. And then slowly come back, place the foot on the inside. So the right foot's on the inside of the thigh above the knee, if that feels good. And walk your hands down. And again, play with it. Use your body almost like an ocean and invite the ease and folding forward. So maybe you inhale, come up a little bit. And then as you exhale, you just flow with your spine so that you're not forcing it to happen. So slowly come back up. Let's do that two more times. Just inhaling, lifting up, and then exhaling and folding. If you are in a chair, might be a little bit harder, but you can put the ankle over the knee and just lean forward. Inhale, lift up. And then exhale one more time. We're gonna hold this. So get comfortable, square the hips a little bit more if you can. Find that area that feels comfortable and then allow yourself to settle in. You can even bring your hand over to the other side and create a little bit of a twist. Come on back, shake it out. Good. 
Come back into a nice seated position. If that doesn't feel too much for the hip work that we've done, come back to a seated position. Bring the left arm down by the side and bring that right arm over and get a nice side stretch. If you can look up, go ahead. If not, keep your head neutral and inhale, lift up. And let's just work that side body a little bit. And maybe you're able to even go a little bit deeper. This time we're gonna hold the stretch. So allow the hip to move away from the rib cage. Allow the arm to extend over. Allow the rib cage to look up. Come back. And the other side. Maybe you can even put your elbow in. Slowly use your hand to lift you back up. If it feels comfortable for you, then go ahead now and let's just come on to our forearms. Slowly work your way back up. And we're going to go into a standing position. So when you're ready, begin to work your way. Into that standing. Move slowly. We've been on the floor for a little while. And maybe you even want to start from here and then slowly work your way up. It's nice to be able to do like a little squat if that's okay on your knees. You can use the blanket. So let's work slowly. You can have the blanket on your heels. And this is heavy on the knees today, so if you do have knee issues, um, just work to your ability. Now slowly, you can press the heels into the blanket or the earth, and then lift into a forward fold. Come down again. <laughs> Should not wear a hood. This time, see if you can take your heels out a little bit more. And bring your hands, maybe you bring your hands to the floor like this. Maybe you're able to bring your hands and press them together. Breathe. And then slowly press the heels.
And one last time. And you can have a hand down, another hand down. You can also create a little twist. Good. And now let's slowly press up all the way. Take your time. Adjusting, adjusting the camera. Just shake it out. So you'll probably see more of my feet. And then just go ahead and create some nice little circular movements. Anytime we can move those joints, move the shoulders, move the knees, move the hips. Exaggerate the movements. And just be playful. Find the joy. Find the joy in yoga. Oh, you can even let out a sigh if you need to. Or a grunt, because it might just feel really good to release some tightness. Nice. So, what I'd like to do next, <laughs> is if you can see my feet, I want you to try to put one foot in front of the other, almost like you're on a tightrope. And if that seems too hard or balanced, you can definitely spread them apart where it feels good. Okay. So gauge that for a moment. Keep your eye gaze on the floor. And you can do a few things. You can slowly begin to fold forward. You can also interlace your fingers. Lift up and just fold and let those hamstrings get a good stretch. Come on back, release. Let the feet come out wide and then fold forward. And just go ahead and Move the hips back and forth, and then settle in for a moment. Shake your head yes, shake it no. Bend your knees here, bend, bend, bend. Put your hands back on your knees, right shoulder, left knee. Left shoulder, right knee. Good. Slowly lift up. We're going to bring it to the opposite side. See if you can align your feet. 
if that feels like it's too much, then separate the feet a little bit. You can have your hands on your hips. Okay. And then fold forward. Let the hips be squared as you come down. Bend the front knee a little bit if you need to. Fold forward. Slowly come back up. Let the feet widen out. Bring your hands back down. Let that left hand be in place as you lift the right. One more time, left hand down, lift up right. Right hand down, lift up left. Slowly come back down. And then just like you're playing in the sand. And then you're lifting it up. It's like a little Tai Chi move. All the way back up, up to the sky. And let's do that again. Just playing in the sand. Bring the middle finger to your navel and your other middle finger to your eye, third eye and right in right above the middle of the eyebrows for a moment lift up like you're hooking up the belly button a little bit Bring your right hand and just kind of grab the trap a little bit, kind of give it a squeeze and then cross it over to your hip. Do the same on the opposite side, like you're squeezing your trap. Over to the other side. Do that again. Press it on over to the hip and down. Last one. And give yourself a little massage even on the neck. Squeeze and bring it down. Good. Let's take a moment here. In mountain pose.
Let the palms be forward. Soft gaze of the eyes. Tuning in for a moment in the stillness of the day. Thinking for a moment about joy. What brings you joy? Just one thing. Feel it in your muscles, feel that joy in your bones, feel the joy in your heart, the blood circulating, the plasma. Feel this joy, this unconditional, over the top, sun bursting joy of this one thing, this image, this event, this person, yourself, nature, and just feel it through your whole body, your whole body. And then inhale, lift all the way up like you're gonna grab all of the sunshine today, and then fold forward. Bend your knees if you need to, grab onto your elbows, rotate from side to side. And then inhale, lift all the way up. Let's do that again. Grabbing all there is. And then coming back down. Grabbing onto your elbows and from side to side. One more time, lift, palms up, palms up, palms up. And then bringing it back down. Grabbing onto the elbows. Great, and then slowly work your way back to a seated position. And then coming down onto your backs. Just coming all the way down. Flat on the back. Straight down, feel the spine. Let everything just release into the earth. Working our way in to just a relaxed pose for a moment. Then I want you to draw your knees up towards your hips at a 90 degree angle. And then drop them over to the right side. So your hands now are out in the T position. And you're over onto the side. Just Oh, let out a big sigh. See if you can stack the knees. Inhale, come back to center. 
And let's do the same on the other side. Let those shoulders settle down. Back to center. Do that one more time. Knees over to the side. Back to center and last time. Back to center and then go ahead and allow your legs to be long. Have a bolster under your knees if you need them. Get comfortable. And for voice sake, I'm going to stay seated just so you can hear me better. But keep your eyes closed. Now, as you're laying there for these last few moments, I'd like to read a little passage about stilling the mind. I ask that you still your mind. So much time is lost because of its confusion. Even as the tiny butterfly darts here and there, yet going nowhere, so does your human mind run hither and thither. It keeps you occupied with trivial things while the soul, the living presence within, must wait to give you gems that shall shine more radiant than the sun. These gems, the gift of the soul, are not for your adornment, but that others may receive them through you, the human vessel. Listen more clearly to your voice. and practice the stillness and find the beauty in the stillness each and every day. The small quiet moments, the darkness before the light in the morning, and then the light before the darkness in the evening, natural rhythms in the day, which is about reflection, quietude, joy, ease, simplicity,
Take your time and wiggle your toes or just stay in this stillness for as long as you would like. And thank you all for joining me today. And I hope to see you next time. Namaste.